Okay, here's a second uh, worked example on that question one. Now, look at this. Uh, let's take the question again. A body projected upward from the level ground at an angle of 50 degrees with the horizontal has an initial speed of 40 meters per second. How far from the how far from the starting point will it strike? Now, there's a second question under uh, the very first uh, uh, worked example. There's one B, as you can see. Now, uh, let's see what the one has to look for here. Now, look at this. The body is in projected like this, then goes this way. And don't forget that it's been projected from a level ground to another level ground. Very important, from a level ground to another level ground. So the question is, it was projected from this place then to this place. Now, they want us to get how far from the starting point it was strike. That means they want us to get the range. We've discussed this already. I will derive a beautiful formula for this. So how do we get the range? What's the formula? Now, don't forget any of the questions given to us. We could use the analytical method or we could use the formula methods. But let's use the formula method. What's the formula for range? Range is equals to u squared sine 2 theta <coughs> over gravity. Here's the range here. Range is u squared sine 2 theta over gravity. We we'll derived um, this formula in our previous uh, lesson. So quickly, we have the readings already. We have the, the things we need. Our angle is 50 degrees. And then um, the body projected upward from the level ground at an angle of 50 degrees with the horizontal as an initial speed. Initial speed is the speed of projection, 40 meter per second. So how far from the starting point will this strike? They want us to get the range. So let's use the formula to save our time. The range is initial speed is 40 raised to power 2. That's 40 squared times sine 2 theta. 2, the angle is 50. That is sine 100 degrees automatically times gravity, which is 10. So what do we do? R is 1600, then times sine 100 over 10. So quickly, we're going to use our calculator. So let's quickly punch in the figures. Let's punch in the figures. This 1600 times sine 100 divided by 10. We have 157.569. That is 157.57 approximately two decimal places meter. It's as simple as ABC. So it means this very um, object or this very body was projected from this place at an angle of work, 50 degrees. So then it covers a distance of 157.57 meter from here to here. Don't forget, this was done from one level ground to another level ground. 